Um, so this is my first time playing Minecraft in quite a while. Uh, I played on 360 years and years and years ago. And I put a couple hundred hours into it. And I had a friend that would play with me. Um, and so he got to see, you know, he would help me build stuff. And he got to see what I built. And then, um, then I got Minecraft on Vita, and I put like 50 hours into it. But I lost my save somehow, and I got really discouraged and didn't didn't start again. So a lot of this is new to me, and uh, the interface is new. There's a lot of new stuff here, and I cannot find. I cannot find. Uh, Signs. So I think... I think they just call it something different. I'm using the city... Ah! Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, all right, sorry, I'm really distracted. Um, Okay, let's get going now. Alright, so... I don't know what to do with the outside yet. Um... So right now I'm just gonna work on mines. Uh... Work on my mine. And I realized... So I have a decent mine started. It goes way down there. Uh, but I forgot that I was a little drunken on Ambien. I don't know why I put this shelf here. Um, last night I had to go to a Enkai. Um, and this game's really relaxing late at night. So, I forgot that the good stuff is, like, what, ten layers off the bottom of the floor? So I need to, I need to start lower. Um... So that's what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start my main mine, but I got to go lower. First I need to label these boxes real quick, it's really bugging me. I don't know what, what's in them. And I forgot how to make signs. So let's see, I need wood and sticks. Uh, I put sticks in the toolbox. And I think I have a wood box. Yeah. Alright. What are these? Oak planks. Do I already have... No, oh, I already have planks. Okay. Perfect. No, we need that. Let's get that out of here. We don't need an axe. We'll put that away. Um... Hmm. 
Hmm. All right. This is my wood. Oh, how do you edit? Oh, come on. I can't edit from, like... There's got to be a way to edit without having to redo the sign. I don't know what's in that box. Oh, that's really annoying. No way. So I have to destroy the sign to put it back. All right. So I'm on a Japanese PlayStation 4, yeah? And I think like X and Circle are reversed. It was on my... one of my PlayStations. Wood. Done. Oh, come on. Wood. Uh, done. Wood. And what do we have here? This is my, uh... We'll call it weapon box. Weapon. Even though it's kind of more tools... But, um, I know what it means, and that's all that matters. Alright. Uh, stone box. So, I need to build a mine shaft straight down, and I want a new one. I don't want to use this one. You know what? Let's do it right here. No. Nope. I'm going to do it over here. Alright, so we need a shovel. We need a couple picks. I think I have some food, depending on how... I don't have any iron. I have some iron. We definitely need some picks. We're gonna go digging for a while. We got a sword, uh, one shovel. We don't need the axe. We'll just take one chicken. We don't need any more signs. Um, Alright, how do you make stairs? Here's stairs. We can make wood stairs or cobblestone because we're going to have tons of cobblestone. I, uh, I like, I try to make things look somewhat aesthetic rather than just 100% functional. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna add some stairs to my mine shaft. All right, let's get going. I think out here in the corner should be good. I don't 100% remember the angle or how deep the stairs need to go. And I do want to make room for the minecart because I'm probably going to add a minecart later. Alright, why are they upside down? 
because I attached it to the back wall and not the floor. Alright. Perfect. So much faster. And then I can add the minecart right here. So we'll just kind of reserve the third rail. And I'll put the lights on this side so I can dig out. Alrighty. I absolutely love this music. It's some of the most relaxing music. I'm gonna buy the uh, the vinyl, I think, one of these days. Well, then I need a record player. How's that work? Dude, dude, dude. I think I need to go one higher. I'm gonna hit my head, right? Yeah, definitely. All right. and then we'll clean it up later but I already messed that up you know like I remember hearing about Minecraft and I I thought it sounded so dumb and uh, the more I learned about it like I just didn't understand why it was so popular finally started playing it one of my old mine shafts which I can't stand so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna wall it up I like a clean workspace um, so I thought Minecraft was pretty silly I mean look how boring it is dude you're just mining like, this looks so boring if you watch videos. And then I started playing. And... Yeah, it's addictively fun. And you get to create. Which I don't know if I've ever really been able to do that in a game before. But I find it incredibly relaxing. Like, the hours just disappear. Like, I don't, I don't play games for... for a very long time. For me, like a hundred hours is, that's amazing. Like the game is near perfect if I put a hundred hours into it. Uh, a few games here and there like Halo. There, much nicer, eh? Uh, that's gonna be too high. Alright, we'll fix all that later in post. Um, so like Halo and Battlefield, I might have put 400 hours, 500 hours, and that's insane. That's like the top of the top of the top. And those are multiplayer games. And I guess Minecraft can be multiplayer. I played with one of my friends, but maybe only not that much time. Oop, I hear something. It's already bugging me, and I think I messed the stairs up a little bit. Yeah, so Minecraft was really the first kind of single-player game that I ever remember just putting countless, countless, countless hours into. And here I am. Here I am. Oh, that like worked out perfectly with the size of this uh, home base. It's raining. Um, ooh, close that. I got into Space Engineers. I put about 150 hours into that. And uh, that was incredibly fun. But once you... You know, we, we my friend and I, we started on, on, on Earth. 
And then we build a spaceship that could go to orbit. And then land on like moons and asteroids and then an international space. Not international, uh, inter not interstellar either, like hyperdrive though, so we go to other planets. And then we landed on another planet and made some bases. And like, that's kind of it. You kind of did everything. You can't really create... I think as much in that game. It's more like, alright, build, build an efficient base. You guys are probably screaming how slow I am at this. I don't have any more. Shucks. Um, is it? Nope. Alright. Let's put these sticks away. So, the reason I got back into Minecraft this time is, silly enough, I, um... Okay, so, this is gonna sound ridiculous. I, I'm like super competitive and I want to play like more games than the next person and I want more trophies, I want more Steam achievements, I want more Xbox points than the next person. But I don't know anybody that even plays the same games I do. Like my best friend back in America, we play games all the time, but he doesn't play anywhere close to as much as I play and he doesn't care at all. Like, you know, he lives his life, he plays games that have fun, and mostly, nowadays, it's really just so he can hang out with me while I'm in Japan. So there's no competing with him. And that's fine. You know, I play with him and I have fun. So I have two other friends here in Japan. And, uh, they play, they play PlayStation. That's it. No PC. So, like, I compete with no one on PC. Like, I have the highest Steam level. I'm 71 on Steam. I don't know anybody who's even remotely close and no one even cares. Right? Most people don't care at all. So these two guys, like one guy, he chases Platinums. And like, he, the thing is is he Platinums games I would never, like Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, and like games I would never even want to Platinum. So it's like, and he's got something like 50 Platinums. Yet I have... My PlayStation level is higher than his, but he didn't care about PlayStation level. He only cares about Platinums. So it's like we're competing on like two different things. Not competing, but yeah, competing. Bragging rights. But it's like he has bragging rights I don't care about. It's like, dude, you're insane. Like, why would you Platinum The Witcher? That's nuts. Like, I don't even want to do that. Um... forgot where I was even going with this. Oh, yeah. So then I have the other, uh, like one other loose acquaintance, and he's got one level higher PlayStation. So I kind of secretly compete with him, even though he doesn't know it or care that I'm trying to get a higher PlayStation level than him. And he's got like five more Platinums than I do. And I could easily get five more Platinums. Platinums, I fucked that up. So I was playing the Batman... Tall Tale game. And I love Batman. So I wasn't just playing it to play it. Uh, dude, I love Batman. And the game's awesome. So I was playing that, and it's an easy platinum. And I was like, well, man, the Telltale games are actually really fun. I played The Walking Dead. I played Borderlands. And, uh... So let's... Let's get more easy, fun platinums with the Telltale games. So I bought... All the Minecraft Telltale games. And holy cow. They're okay. More more like it's nostalgia for me. Because I started playing and it was like, God, the music. I forgot how good and like relaxing the music is. And you listen to it for hundreds of hours. So it was really cool to play the music. And then they had stuff like Enderman. Which I've heard of before and I've never seen. And I was like, wow, they really added a lot to Minecraft. And then... I also saw some tricks 
what was it like the like they added some tricks that I didn't know about uh what is it like put two things of lava and then or put one thing of lava and then one brick of water and it's like an eternal obsidian generator and I was like whoa that's really cool so I saw a lot of stuff like that and I was like man I really got to get back into Minecraft and I've been hesitant about it because I like to play as many games as I can. Like, I I have a Steam backlog of 200, and I actually plan to get, like, I actually want to get through them. And I don't play them, like, some of them are, sh you know, shitty games. I play it for 5-10 minutes, and I'm like, this definitely isn't my cup of tea, and I move to the next one. I'm always in search of, like, the next awesome game. Like, right now, uh, at work, I have uh, Craft the World. And I thought it would be so mediocre. It's just like a Terraria Lemmings knockoff. And I've been so addicted to it. I've been like, I've been going to work early, playing during lunch. I stayed like an hour and a half late just to play. And, uh... So yeah, so I don't... Like, part of me doesn't like games like Destiny and Battlefield and, uh... Minecraft. Because they're time sinks. And then I can't play... Then I can't play like just, you know, a ton of games or as many games. But it's I don't know. It's you need to take a balance between quantity over quality. And uh I don't know, I think this game's pretty uh pretty special. How it's like it's endured so many years, like you can kinda understand why Microsoft paid I don't know how many billions. Like, I, it's just crazy to me. And there's no Minecraft 2. I don't even know how they plan on making their money back. Oh. I didn't bring my other uh, pick. I brought the supplies for it, but not the... Alright. I don't know how far down this goes. What is it, like 60 levels? 100, 115, I think? To the bedrock? Oh, we're gonna need a minecart, but I'm nowhere close to being able to build one. Uh, tools. There we go. Let's go ahead and build some more stairs. Stairs, idiot, come on. Oh, you know what? I had no idea. Um, I think I knew, but I didn't know, or I forgot, and I never got the chance. You can put lava in there. I gotta remember to do that. I had lava over here. It was gonna be like my little lava pool. Because I was lucky enough to find lava, like, on the surface already. And then... Yeah, I was making this little waterfall wall that leads... Oops, son of a gun. I was making this waterfall wall that, uh, you know, feeds this pool. And I flooded everything. And it. I totally forgot that obsidian. I mean, lava, wet lava becomes obsidian, which now I can't get rid of because I don't have a diamond pickaxe. Isn't that just fantastic? So, I'm really excited because I was, uh, like, I was, I was bored at work the past two days. Not all, all day, but, um, I had to go to a, a party last night, and, you know, they give speeches, and then, jeez, you just... It's in Japanese, and, uh, you know, it's it, it's hard to pay attention in Japanese. I don't understand it all, and I usually just zone out, because it, it takes a lot of brain power to really concentrate to a second language sometimes. So I was, like, started daydreaming about Minecraft, and I was remembering all these old, you know, like, all these little tricks that you can do. Um, 
Like, I remember in my first, my first game, the big game, the one that I put like, you know, a couple hundred hours into it. To get to the bottom of my mind quickly, it was like, uh, I don't know what you call it, kind of like your fireman pole. You just dig a big shaft all the way to the bottom. Uh, and then you put water down there so you can jump down there. It's like the fastest way to get down there. And I remember having to like count. And I counted. I don't even remember. I had to, I had to like count how many stairs up and where it was. Because I wanted to... I went to the surface and then just started digging down where I knew exactly where like the center of my mining base camp was. And I think I hit it pretty dead on. It was... Um... So I'm debating if... Yeah... Debating where to put the uh, main mining base camp once we get down there. I haven't hit any lava yet, haven't hit any uh, caves. Did I just F that up? I did. We can put dirt there. I hear skeletons. So I think there's some cave systems around here. I just love digging like this. And like, you just don't know what you're going to find down here. I kind of wish they had more surprises. Uh, rather than just like cave systems. I don't know, like a... Just, I have, I have no idea, like a crazy birthday party. I'm kind of always... Excited to see what they have. Um, and usually it takes me a really long time to venture out. Like, I I think last time, the first time I started this game, I was kind of in the forest biome. And, uh, what time is it? I'm just going to stream for an hour today. So I'm going to stream for a little bit longer. Hopefully I can get to the bottom. So it takes me a while to... Oop, oop, what do we have? It takes me a while to venture out of the biomes. And like, I didn't... And I finally left. I'm like, wow, desert biome. And I think I played back when there was, what, three or four or five biomes. And I think there's way more now. So I'm kind of excited to... Just a little reminder, I was there. Where's my cobble? Um, jeez, I was, uh, I was really hoping to hit the floor today, hit the, hit the, hit the basement. I kind of really want a diamond. Oh, uh, no, that's just light. And they added so... Okay. Um, so I am expecting some surprises. So I think they added some biomes I haven't seen since the last time I played. They definitely added... I could be crazy, but like this stone, I don't think was in the game. Uh, when I first started playing Minecraft. So there's definitely stuff... And like the enchanting table, I had just started playing on Xbox, and they added the enchanting table right at the end of it, and I was kind of done with the game, and I was like, alright, that's it. Uh, and so I never got time to play with the enchanting table. And I didn't play the Vita version long enough. I was, I started playing the tutorial, and then, I don't know, my game file got corrupted when I tried to upload it to the cloud. And out of frustration, I just, uh, I didn't play... 
Ooh, some coal. Do we need coal for anything else if I put lava in the, uh... Oh. I hear lava. Let's be careful. We don't want to fall into it. I'm looking around. And this, this is new. I don't know what this, uh... These yellow things are. I mean, they're experience or something. So I'm, what, level 16? But I don't know what impact that has on the game. I know I can Google all this stuff, and... But, uh... You know, that takes kind of the fun out of it. Like, I kind of started reading, like, best way to mine... Articles, and I was like, nah, 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 nah. I don't want to do that. I kind of want to just... Because I know... I know there's better ways and worse ways. Like, just... Building a giant hole isn't really a good way, but it's also fun. And then you can make some really incredible projects. So I'm going to do a couple different mines. So my first mine, and I'm going to go to the bottom, come up a little. I hear the lava. It's getting louder. I'm going to do a horizontal, uh, like a, uh, horizontal mine. So if you, you know, look at it from the top. Oh, there we go. So does that mean I reach bedrock? I... I don't remember. Like, does the lava mean bedrock, or did I just find a pool of lava? Hold on. No. I think it's just a pool of lava. Damn. That's bad news, because I I, I want to keep going down. And that was a lot of work. Alright, let's check this cavern out. See what we're working with. Ah, oh, son of a gun. I think I'm just in a cave. Ooh, redstone. I was not a good engineer first time I played. Other than a few simple switches. But, I mean, man, you can get pretty crazy with redstone. There's a few things we can do here. We can build over this. Let's just see where we are with this. Is that going to fall into the lava? Yes. We can do something about that, though. Okay. We're going to turn the lava into obsidian, which is poetic, or ironic, or something, because then we'll have the diamonds to get the obsidian. Alright. Let's see. Is there lava under this? That's stone. See, that was not in the game. Yes, we have not reached bedrock. Alright, I'm going to put some of this stuff back. We can fix this. This is not the end to my... Actually... I have a brilliant idea. This could be really cool. We can make like a little lava viewing area. Now my dumb butt can't get out of here. Uh, what's going on? I'm bumping my head. I can't wait to build a minecart. I love building the railroad stuff in like these complex uh, railroad systems. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Stone, I'm excited. Alright. So. I'm 
pretty hungry. Let's eat some chicken. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. I have my own pool. We got some water. Oh. Hello. Um. So, I found some diamonds and uh, some lava is in my way to my mine. So we gotta get around this lava. Uh, how do I want to... Nope. How do I pour? I don't know. I know what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna make infinite water pool. Alright. There. Right? Did it work? No, I gotta do 4x4. Four four. Crap. Caddy corner, right? Yes. Alright, now I have permanent water supply. I can't just pour on the lava, can I? Yes, 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 yes. Oops. Alright, and I'm getting my first diamonds. Excellent. Ah, more lava. Alright. I want to go down. I gotta get around this lava somehow. We gotta see what's down now. It's even possible. I gotta figure out a way around this lava. I just wanted a straight shaft. If I do this, then I'm going to get pure obsidian, and it's going to be really hard to get through. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go make my diamond mine. Diamond pickaxe. I hear him. There's definitely a cave nearby. clean this up later. Make it a much... This is way too... too messy for me. I like a nice... Alright. Oh, jeez. This is gonna take forever. I'm a masochist if I want to go through this. Ah, oh, and there's more lava underneath. I'm never going to get through this, am I? And there's more lava underneath. Alright, so I'm going to have to just go in a different direction. Alright, we're going to get rid of this water. I don't want to fall in there. Can I? Oh, I should have just done that. I can cover it with dirt and then dig the dirt up. Well, like I said, it's been a while since I played Minecraft. I forgot all the little tricks.
Alright. I just want to reach bedrock before, uh... Before I need to go to sleep. Yeah, this should work. Oh, gravel? Come on. Bedrock. Alright, so I reached bedrock, which means you're supposed to go up like one, two, three. Alright. So actually, this might work out perfect. Alright. So this is going to be my base. My base of operations is going to be here, on a frickin' lava floor. This will be perfect, dude. did that turn to cobblestone? That's weird. Alright, whatever. So this is going to be my new base of operations for my first mine. Uh, I'm going to call it... I'm going to call it quits for that. Nah, let's dig a little bit. Even this out. Um, I should probably go up a level. do I look at the comments? Yes. <sighs> yes, I... I still need to figure some Twitch stuff out.
Oh. Yeah, I'm an idiot, huh? Okay, I was just checking out the, uh... The phone app. Alright, um... So, yeah, um... Cool. So, I'm just trying to build my first, like, mine, my first base, like, where I'm gonna build my mega mine. And, uh, it takes a bit of pre-planning. And I always try to do something kind of fancy and cool. So, like... Should I make the whole floor obsidian? But then it's really hard to get through. But I might just leave it as it is, and then... I'm gonna try some... I'm gonna put glass. Ugh, poop. Yes, uh, I think I saw one of your comments. Is this the music's game? The game music? Yeah, it totally is. F fill up? Um, what do you mean, fill up? Like, it'll fill an empty space. I don't know, uh, like, alright, I can show you better with water. Like, if I take that sand away, like, water will fill up there. Like, it'll fill up any empty space, but it won't, like, fill up, fill up. Like, if I break that glass, then water will come flooding in here. And the same with lava. Uh... What am I looking for? No, it doesn't go above its original level. I'm looking for glass. We got some obsidian. We take some sand. We got some glass. We got some iron. So it's kind of cool. You put sand in here and it makes glass. So you can kind of make something out of everything. All right. Crafting, yeah. Minecraft. <laughs> There. Perfect, perfect. All right. Oops. like how ununiform it is, but I can figure something out later. For now. Oh, look at that. I need that. Shit. Ugh! Oh. You don't get those back when you break them. Alright, that should get me going now. say oh I see there's a ground layer under the lava yeah so the it goes it goes uh, down to the bedrock so bedrock is this black one and you can't it's not exactly flat but it's usually like one or two levels max and then you absolutely can't go any lower than that and that's the only thing you can't break uh, so like I think around here actually I should go like just above the bedrock is the best place to mine. Uh, so there's like iron, gold, diamonds, diamonds. I think there's emerald. I think they added stuff to this game since I last played. Like emeralds. All right, 
Alright, so we're gonna set some boundaries. Like, I'm just OCD enough that I feel like... Like... I have to have some uniformity, even though it's like... Just... I mean, it's a block game. Everything kind of needs to be blocks for me. So this is gonna be my mining base camp. I want it to feel like a room, like a like a second home. We'll make it pretty later. I thought they were like hell levels. No, um, there are kind of. There's a place called the Nether. Okay, this is actually really cool. This stuff here is called obsidian. It's the hardest block in the game, I believe. And you can make... It's really hard to mine. And you can make a door... A portal. Like, if you make a... What is it? I think you have to have it on the bottom. So, three over, three up, three across, and three down. And then you light it on fire or something. And it makes a portal to the nether, I believe. But they've also added something called... Ender forests, which I like they added that since I played last so I don't know what ender forests are All right tomorrow I'll figure out which direction well eventually the mine will go in all directions Yeah Yeah, I mean so I kind of talked about this earlier in the stream. Like, I thought Minecraft sounded really lame. And it looked really lame. And then I started playing Minecraft, and it was like... I couldn't believe how much stuff is in this game. So yeah, I was like... What? Are you kidding, right? The guy who made this, like, sold the game for billions of dollars. Uh, Notch. Dude, he, like, at first he didn't want to sell it. And then Microsoft offered him, like, I think three billion dollars. He literally got paid, he made, like, one game in his life and got paid, like, billions. I don't even know how Microsoft still makes money with this game, to be honest with you. Alright, we need light, or, uh, think, like, monsters will spawn in here. If we don't have light. And that's bad. There's these guys, I don't know if you know what a creeper is. They, they suck. They ruin your day. Uh, they sneak up behind you, they make a sound, they go tss, and then they blow up, and they blow up all your shit. All your hard work. It gets blown up. The green dudes, yep. Yeah. All right, for now. All righty, here we go, base camp. Alright, I'm gonna call it. I gotta hit. I gotta. Uh, uniformity, man. Everything's gotta be uniform. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get off. Um. Put my stuff in the furnace. Let me show you, uh what the actual, like, sunlight looks like before I go to bed. So it's really... Dude, this game's really, uh... beautiful. I mean, like, for it being, like, all blocky and kind of 8-bitty, I find it, like, really... kind of beautiful. And it's just so big, I think that, it, like, helps. You can, like, just stand on the treetops and... Uh-oh. Just broke my ankle. So it just goes and goes and goes, and there's different environments, like, whoa, look at those mountains, they're so tall. 
Hey, Piggy. Boochon. Yeah, you can totally play like this. I know you hate, uh... You hate first person. You can play like this. I'm usually too scared to venture out because it's really easy to get lost. Oh! You can crouch? Man, I've been trying to figure that out for hours. So I leave these little markers, like so I have a relative idea of where I've been or where my stuff is, but you can't see them from that far away. This is my little farm. I don't know if anything's ready yet. Oh! I guess it's ready. I can make food with that later. Okay. That's all for now. I'm gonna go to bed. Are there random towns? Yes. Yes, there are. Uh, I think there's even people in them, but, like, I think they added that stuff. I want to say they added that stuff after I played. Like, I played years ago, years and years and years ago, like, four or five years ago, and they've added so much stuff. So they added, I think they added towns. I want to say you can trade with people. I don't even remember. I don't know that much about it. Here's a little trapdoor.